Good evening to you. I'm Tom Ziska. We're glad to have you with us. We begin with Harris County confirming its first heat related death. It happened. The, the confirmation came last night on an incident June 24th when a 64 year old man died. As the heat rages on, Fox 26's Shelby Rose reminds what you need to do to stay safe in the extreme temperatures. Another day, another heat advisory in Houston. With feels like temperatures into the hundreds, it continues to pose serious health risks to everyone who wants to spend their summer days outdoors. Well, the problem is that sometimes we just don't realize how warm and how hot the body is getting out there. And by the time that we do it well, we might be um, a, a fainting or unable to express um, a, the signs and symptoms that we, we might be experiencing. Heat exhaustion, even heat stroke, can present itself more quickly than you may realize. These are just a few of the symptoms you need to keep in mind and seek medical help if necessary. And it's especially important to watch out for young kids. Kids might become fussy. They just cry easily. They just feel uncomfortable. Heat rash is quite common in kids when they are overheated. Also, don't forget about other vulnerable populations like those with mental or physical disabilities and the elderly. On June 24th, the 67 year old man died in Harris County from hyperthermia due to not having air conditioning. Remember that about one third of our community don't have access to a reliable sources for air conditioning or power. And, and the most important way to, um, to stay safe from the heat way is air conditioning. So check on your friends, family, neighbors, and especially those who may not have access to basic needs. If together we rely on each other, I think we can address some of these uh, challenges. And don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Reporting in Houston, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News.